I'm still interested in, perhaps as Charlie Crist, the senator, mm -hmm. and that is Cuba. Mm -hmm. Ninety miles away, and we used to have a bureau there, so I would go down there on occasion because of our bureau and noticed, I don't think anybody would disagree with this, an enormous appetite by the Cuban people to have a relationship with Florida. And there's a huge appetite in Florida to have relationships again with Cuba, but nothing seems to be able to happen. As a U.S. Senator, would you have opportunities or even a desire that perhaps you didn't have as governor to make some headway to normalizing relationships with Cuba? Have you thought about it? Is it something that would be important to you, the economic opportunities possibly? And I, I don't know that as a governor, a state official, <coughs> as a U.S. Senator and a federal official, does that give you any other advantage to use your office to try to figure out a way to to break that log jam and make something happen? It may, and, and I think everybody hopes for that ultimately. Um, but the problem is that you have this totalitarian regime that is down there that locks up journalists, uh, suppresses freedom, doesn't allow for open dialogue, uh, and I think unless and until that begins to occur, um, it, it is not in Florida's or I don't think America's best interest to be embracing of that kind of a government. Um, ultimately, I'd love for them to be free. I'd love for Cuba to, to have the ability to have freedom. And I think you're right. As a U.S. Senator, I think you would have more opportunity to be encouraging of that kind of dialogue, uh, whether it's through radio or TV Marti or other means, to be able to make that come to pass. And I'd love to help try to do that. It, it just seems that there's so much hypocrisy at the federal level because we do have relationships with other governments that have as bad or worse human rights records as Cuba have as bad or worse totalitarian governments than Cuba, and yet for some reason we can't seem to make that break. And it just, I just didn't know if, if that would be a priority as a U.S. Senator, if there's things that, that you would see. I, I guess some of us believed in the new administration there would be some effort to do that, but it doesn't seem to be, at least publicly, gaining any momentum. And I, I didn't know if that was something that was going to be on your radar or you would be looking for opportunities or whatever? I think, you know, uh, any public servant in Florida th that um, listens mm -hmm. <laughs> has to understand that there's a uh, significant interest by an awful lot of Floridians uh, in Cuba. And I think that um, to be close-minded about the opportunity to encourage more freedom for the Cuban people, who are relatives of many of our fellow Floridians, uh, it is only enlightened. And, uh, but, but again, um, th there is a government in place there right now that uh, doesn't allow for or encourage that kind of freedom, and I think that's why there's been sort of a stalemate this far. As a U.S. Senator, would you be in favor of uh, more, uh, or I should say less, restrictions on travel so there could be some interactivity? No, I wouldn't. Uh, not until uh, they offer more freedoms to their own people first and demonstrate that they're serious about doing that. 